Hello small model collectors. So I got this out of one of those Japanese capsule machines. They're called Gashapons. And it's the Suzuki Lapin, the third generation uh, K-Class car that came out in 2015. I guess this is the most recent body style, the Suzuki Alto Lapin. Try to get this tape off here. Being a K-Class car, it's got like around 660 cc's out of an inline three cylinder. And uh, it's either an automatic or a CVT transmission. There's a lot of tabs. Definitely don't want this thing opening up by accident. Okay. Now I didn't get to pick the color because it was a gumball machine. And this is not the color I want. I wonder why these funky cream colors. Oh well. No such luck. So it's supposed to be 164. It's made by a brand called Stasto, Stan Stones. I think I have another model from these guys. Uh, I can search the channel for that if you want. Uh, any sort of date. I like to know how old my stuff is. See the progress of models and just help set a value. It is officially licensed. So. Seems to be a bit of a minuscule model kit as well. So let me get some scissors out. Alright, well, we can look at this without taking it apart. Get to the photos last, I guess. So these wheels are actually plastic. And they basically painted the, the wheel onto the, the plastic, so the rubber it looks uh, proper, except for this wheel is totally messed up. Like it's, It looks like it's melted. This one's fine. That one's a, the other ones are okay, but what the heck happened here? It's like someone put it on something hot and it melted, so that's unfortunate. All right, well, you got some seats in there, just really basic seats. They, they could have easily molded, you know, details into those seats for no extra cost. So it's a real shame. It's just basically a lazy company. And then it does have like a Hot Wheels style pizza pan steering wheel. That I can understand they couldn't do better because it's a two-part mold. You can see the parting line there. But these seats, uh, they could have easily made that nicer. Alright, let me get some clippers now. Looks like this is the grill. And it's a clear piece of plastic. It's like a soft plastic. Just by cutting it there. And then we have a clear set of humans. I guess you could add paint to them. I find it's difficult to paint clear plastic though. The light gets through the paint. I almost wish these characters were not clear. Hard to say. So this lady is holding a little tote bag and is looking or waiting or something. Does stand on its own. This, uh... So the lady in a long trench coat or something. Or maybe it's Neo from the Matrix. I don't know. Alright, well, with this part here. So you can see it's a clear piece of plastic and they painted silver on it. I'm trying to figure out it's the right orientation. There actually is a logo here. I think it's like this. With the wider part of the logo at the top. Oh, there's also a tab there. Oh, so I was going to put it in upside down, actually. So I got to not do that. Oh, that's really loose. I got to glue that in place. So when it comes to gluing models, I like to use UV resin. The reason why is it doesn't create that cloudy, smoky effect that uh, Crazy Glue does. It just basically hardens clear. So, it's a much safer way, I think, to put your pieces together. Of course, if everything's totally opaque, then yeah, go crazy glue is faster. Because you need an actual UV flashlight to harden this stuff. So, these are cheap, though. I mean, this thing was probably $3 or $6. I think if it's really one of the 
super cured, hold it there for 30 seconds. But the stuff will really cure, like cure in like five seconds. I just uh, play it safe. Now you see, it's totally clear. You don't get that cloudy effect from uh, Crazy Glue. All right, so I don't think those are gonna fall out. Let's get this out of the way. Look at the construction of this thing. So there's a clear set of windows, but they're kind of cloudy, you know? That I, I think if you're gonna have cloudy windows, the windows should be tinted. So they look like, you know, security glass tinted, but neither are supposed to be clear. They're just not very good at it. The headlight ones are much more clear. All right, so interesting. All right, well, I guess it's just that friction fit of a pin there, and there's some tab sliding into the grooves there. And that's all that puts it together. There's a little extra molding flash back here though. Oh, this has a working trunk. Well, we'll open it when it's put together. Well, I guess that's in. Yeah, it's a toy. It'll roll. Okay. Now, I find these advertisers are probably deceptive. This is a K-class car. This is a small car in real life. So what they're doing is they're using a really small woman to make the car look bigger. These women are probably like four feet tall, I imagined. The wheels look pretty similar. Uh, right. So this doesn't have the white at the backup lights, it seems. That's too bad. Let's see what else here. Uh, I really wish I got one of the other colors. White is just a, such a plain color on this thing. All right, well, we have some, uh, I don't know if that's metallic or not, this uh, molding, these fender flare moldings. It, it's either, it's gray or metallic gray. It's sprayed okay, I suppose, but you can see there's some contaminants elsewhere on the body. The door handles are nicely molded. The refinger recesses, they're raised, there's silver on them. The panel gaps are nice and tight, so that's good. Yeah, the cloudy window is not so great. The door cuts here are okay. It has molded in mirrors. I suppose that's all right for these price of these things. It does have a lap and auto lap and license plate, which is nice. It's better than just a blank box. The grill has an egg crate pattern of some sort. This is glossy though. You'd think that it would have been better as matte black. And as we saw, that logo is nice. And then some little groove details there. Uh, painted black up here on the A pillars. This side, same. And then we have a license plate again, which is cool. And then, unfortunately, because this is an opening panel, it looks horrible. Look at this. I mean, it's sticking out so far. That's not good. <sighs> really? That, that's why the model looks bad. Just so I can look at bad seats, right? So this is the problem with opening panels. Yeah, look at it. It's just horrible to look at. It doesn't really work well, and there's no real benefit for it. I mean, it just makes this window look weird having these hinges. The light gets through this piece of plastic, so the white doesn't look the same. This white doesn't look the same as that white to my naked eye so much. It's not quite identical. Uh, so that's unfortunate that they did that. I suppose you could just clip it off and then glue it in place. Eh, I'm going to leave it alone. But see, I, I don't know if the camera's picking up on this. These are definitely different whites. And then sadly, there's not enough white there either. So it just makes the model look horrible. Nice corrugated roof there. All right, third brake light as well. And there is a lap in, written across this trunk here. 
All right, so a few of the Suzuki's. We have uh, a Wagon R. This is by a brand called Doyosha. You don't make too many models. That's a die cast. This is another Doyosha die cast. The Suzuki MR Wagon or Wit MR Wagon. I think these are all K-class vehicles. They all look around the same size. There's even a K-class truck. This is a Suzuki Hustler. Oh, maybe this is not K-class. I forget. It's just a small truck. Uh, this is a plastic model. It's possible same brand. I don't remember who makes this, but it's pretty well detailed. And another plastic model is the Suzuki Jimny, which is all plastic here. It's uh, no no branding, so I don't know. It's pretty small for a truck, so I wouldn't be surprised that all these are K-class vehicles. You'll have to look them up in my playlist if you really want to know. Boy, what a letdown that I got a white one, but such is the gamble you 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 take when you're playing with a Gashapon machine. It's just, uh, whatever colors are in there are random. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next plastic model review.